everybody and welcome back to the episode of let's play terraria my god your guys's reaction to the first episode was crazy i knew some of you would be excited and glad that i was finally doing a series on this but i didn't know you would be so excited about it Jeez. well thank you i'm really excited to start this series and get through it as you can see here or you might be able to tell I decided to start up a new world and some of you guys actually suggested to do this as well uh, The world that I generated last episode was not very good Especially for the unseasoned player like myself We had corruption pretty close to us on one side and then on the other side We just had desert for miles and miles and miles and then it went into a jungle and there were just like no caves on the surface. There was really no chests or anything. So I'm hoping this one is going to end up being just a little bit better. Let's go ahead and see. We unfortunately lost Scott, but we have Ryan. Welcome, Ryan. Hopefully you don't leave the doors open like Scott did. Or, you know, what happened to Scott? He's gone now. <laughs> Uh, or he's living in a world by himself, I guess I should say. Yeah, you get that slime, Scott. Or Ryan. Oh, God, I'm sorry, Ryan. <laughs> I accidentally called you Scott. My bad. So I think what we're going to do is... Oh, man, I don't know. I don't know if I want to just make a new house for Ryan right away. And hopefully we can get the merchant today. Or if I want to explore. I kind of want to make sure that this world isn't crap. Okay, there is a mine right here. Or a a cave I always call them mines on accident so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just throw together some box houses real quick which some of you said just skip the box houses and go straight to the house but I want to get some NPCs going before I start on the house so I'm gonna go ahead and get two box rooms open I think or box houses made and then uh, we will go caving our beautiful humble abode is now done I actually went ahead and went back into our old world and picked up our furnace as well as our chest and some of our chairs and tables and things can I jump up here thank you uh, so that way I didn't need to make it again I also got everything out of that chest as well I got some presents let's go ahead and open them we got a sugar cookie and we're also being beaten up by slime take care of it Ryan and we also got a holiday wreath or a holly wreath it's like basically the same thing. We'll go ahead and plop that up, make it uneven with the table to make everybody super happy. But what we're going to do, since it is becoming nighttime, we're going to take care of the slime here. God, Ryan, just get inside. Get inside, man. You're just as bad as Scott. Let's go ahead and get into that cave that is over here. And let's get to caving. So what I want to get today is I want to get enough cobweb, which I think it's 20. I looked it up and I think it's 20. You need 20 cobweb to... Oh, this was a really disappointing cave. Oh, but there is a chest. I'm glad I saw that. We got some lead. Nice. Which we needed lead. I think you need it for a fishing rod. So there's a couple things that I want to do today. Let's take all this, loot all, and then I will also take this. So I want to make a yo-yo today, and I also want to make a fishing rod, because a lot of you told me that the fishing rod- Can I just, like, do this? Can I be lazy and just do this? A lot of you told me that the loot from fishing is really, really good for early game, so I think I want to try to find the ocean and then try to do some fishing and a fishing rod uh, a lot of you told me just skip the first fishing rod and just go for the iron one so I think that's what I'm gonna do and I'm wondering what is that is this going to be a good cave no but I think there's also chests in here yes so at least we're getting surface chests I mean that's better than nothing so we got some copper and also a hard aglet we also got this one an armored aglet can we equip both of them Maybe I'm gonna get attacked here soon. Oh god. Wait, go back. I need my loot. Give me my loot. And we're gonna get attacked soon because of the zombies. Oh god, get out of here. Wait, 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 wait. Who are you? Malik? When did you get here? What? I didn't even know you could get him before the merchant. So I looked it up and you have to have 50 silver coins to get the merchant. But I guess maybe since we have a gun we got this guy? Is that what his thing is? Because now we can get some uh musket balls which i'm assuming we can use with our gun which is awesome but i'm gonna wait i'm not gonna buy them yet i want to make sure that i have another house set up for the merchant so we can get him and then we'll buy the musket balls and then we'll actually have a usable gun but it's nighttime right now and there are zombies everywhere and they're irritating me so much 
What is this though? A violent shackle. Let's go ahead and throw that on too. Wait, do we already have that? Is that what this is? Oh, get out of here. Is that what this is? No, that's a different one. That ups our mana. I don't care about mana. Put that one on. And then what's the difference between these two? One defense, three defense. Okay, put that one back on. There we go. And we will just keep these so that way we can sell them once we get the merchant. But let's go ahead and make a new building real quick. Unfortunately, I kept moving to the side and just ran into another stinking desert. So we're not going to be going that way. We are going to be trying to go to the right once it becomes morning. And I have back blocks in here. Yeah. 42. Hopefully that's enough. I think this building might be one longer than the other two. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm very proud of myself though. I didn't put back blocks outside of the walls, which is- Oh, you kidding me? One short. So dumb. Get out of here, eyeball. No one likes you. I think I actually have an extra door somewhere. Get out of here. Get out of here. I think I have an extra door in here. Yeah, I do have an extra door and I have an extra chair. Get out of here, eyeball. Put the door there. Uh, I accidentally, and I don't know if there's a way to fix this. Oh, I guess I could fix it with a bed. I, right where this door is, that's where I spawn in. So if I die, if I come back into the world, if I like exit out and come back in, uh, it breaks the door. So that's really annoying. It breaks the door and breaks a block above it. So I'm gonna have to fix that at some point, but I think that a uh, bed should fix it. I'm thinking let's just make one set so that way I can do that so dumb and What else do I need? I'm gonna need another table and I think you actually just need one chair So the one chair we have should be good enough. No, come back. Come back. There we go Plop this down and then we also need some lighting. I don't know how long it's gonna take to get the merchant dude in here Let's just check this real quick. I'm pretty sure we're gonna need a chair though. Uh, missing a chair, yeah. Okay, let's get a chair. I also want to make some little wooden platforms because those come in handy when you need to build up. Well, rope comes in handy too. They're like kind of the same thing, but I want some little platform things. Wait, get out of here, eyeball. I'm trying to look in my chest. Dumb, stupid eyeball. I just want, I just want my dumb chair. There we go. Is this good now? Can we check this? Are we good? Okay, we're good. We are gonna go out because it is becoming daytime now. We are gonna go out and explore a little bit and hope that we can find- Is this actually- okay. I was gonna say, is this actually the ocean already? No. No, it is not. Oh god, but there's- Okay, good. That's a goldfish. I thought it was a piranha. I wasn't gonna be too happy about that. Can I actually get out of here now, though? Is the question- Oh, and I never made my little blocks. Can I put- Okay, I can put this here. Let me just drop this and then grab onto here and hopefully we can get this made before I die. There we go. We're gonna have to uh, build over this. Oh, there's zombies. I wonder if that's one of the reason why I wasn't getting attacked too much from that side. But I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna explore real quick and see what is over here. Ooh, there's another chest. Can you get out of here, eyeball? Where did my torches go? Here we go. Let's check this chest real quick. And then I'm gonna get going. No, get out of here. Okay, uh, more recall potions, which is coming in handy. I'm trying to like avoid him out of the corner of my eye. Okay, get out of here. It looks like I finally found a freaking decent cave. Thank God. I haven't found a decent cave so far in this series. Okay, oh, I did not mean to throw that. Well, that was our last one, my bad. Let's check this real quick. Some bottles, arrows. Ooh, what is a herb bag? Open, oh, right click to open. Right click to open. Ooh, I'm gonna wait to open up this one because I don't want it to take up more of my inventory slots. You will fall slower while holding this. Nice. Okay, let's just take all of these. I'm not taking chests anymore because I don't really need them at this point. I already have an extra one. Ooh, what is this backgroundness? Oh, I am in a snow biome. That's probably <laughs> what it is, I would assume. Okay, put the torch down. There we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. I will take this chest. Because this chest looks fancy. A statue. I am always a large fan of statues. We also got a zealous snowball cannon, which I'm assuming works like a gun. It's a ping. So some silver potions, ice torch. Ooh, fancy. And some silver coins. Oh, we got our first gold coin. Yes. And we are definitely taking this because this looks very fancy. Very, very fancy. Silver chest. 
Ooh, there's more statues over here. Yes, pick up the statues, please. This is a keg. I don't actually, oh, and a, a fancy wooden table. Uh, I don't actually know what the keg does. I know you can craft the keg, but I don't actually know what it does. Ooh, this is like slippery. Okay, and we are going to take this as well. I don't know if I will ever use it, but we're gonna take it because it looks fancy. Oh, we're out of room. Okay, what are we gonna get rid of? I got rid of a couple of things. Ooh, Calvin, our merchant has arrived, sweet. So at this point, really all I wanna get is I just wanna find, I just wanna find some cobwebs, which hopefully shouldn't be that hard. Cobwebs should be pretty common in a cave. But so far I haven't actually seen any. I've gotten one and I'm assuming I got that in last episode when we were in the sketchy jungle biome. But I haven't seen any- ooh, gotta watch out for that. I haven't seen any so far in here. I'm kind of ignoring the copper right now because I don't think there's really anything that I need to make with the copper. During a stream, one of you gave me a tip to hold this and then it shows you where all the different- uh, like lines like all the different wire lines go so that one just goes right there so that's not too crazy oh no I died to an undead viking no oh dang it see look at that the door disappeared as well as a block but you know what we got our merchant we didn't get any cobwebs which is annoying because I want a yo-yo so bad right now uh, where did the blocks go? Right here. Put that block down. Put a door back. I want... I just want a yo-yo so bad because it's so much better than a sword. They're like, OP. So OP. Okay, Calvin, what do you have for me? Well, you always have the same thing, so it's not really much of a mystery. But let's go ahead. We are going to sell you some of the stuff that I don't really want. Like, I don't really want this spear. I don't need that. I don't need that. I think there's some stuff that I've been saving. Uh, I can get rid of that chest. I think there's some stuff that I was saving in my chest, I want to say. Okay, I think I have my inventory somewhat situated now. And I kind of cleared out my chest as well of things that I wanted to sell. I don't actually know what any of these seeds do. I got these all from the herba bag. So let me know if they actually do something fancy and I should keep them or if I can just get rid of them because I have no, I have no clue what they do. So what I wanna do now is let's go ahead and talk to our friend Malik here. We now have extra money to buy a bunch of the musket balls. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And we have 733 now, so that is good. And I think I am just going to put the rest of my money in here. Just in case I die, I can uh, still keep my money. And we don't need to have the money on us anymore to get our merchant friend. So I think what I'm going to do is actually let's go back over here. I never made these. I wanted to make the wood board so that way I could place them and get around a little bit easier. And they are right here. So let's go ahead and make a couple of these. Uh, we'll make a hundred. Just, just a few. Just like a hundred of them. And I think I'm gonna go back to that cave or maybe keep exploring out this way. When I died, I c had kind of already reached the end. So, oh, dang it. God dang it, at least I have this rope over here. But yeah, when I died, I had already kind of reached a dead end both directions. So I think, oh, I can do that. Nice, I can place them in water. Looks like I'm walking on water right now. I think I'm just gonna walk past that area though and see if there's anything past there. This might be a really, really dumb idea, but I am in a little desert cavern. Oh, these dumb zombies that are jumping down. I'm in a little cavern in a desert to the left of our base. And uh, yeah, this could just be a really bad idea. I could just get myself completely stuck down here and die. But this gun is amazing, at least compared to my sword. It is amazing. I can nearly one shot everything. Some things take like two shots. But I mean, compared to before, that's pretty freaking amazing. So we're gonna go ahead, let's shoot these guys. These guys actually take like three which is the most I've seen so far, but we are in a desert. I could even one-shot some a lot of the stuff in the corruption as well. Can you get die? Thank you. Uh, as you can tell, my aim is impeccable. Let's see if the cave continues this way. I think we're gonna need to mine a little bit. Yeah, there are bugs down here. I don't like the bugs. 
the bugs can go. So wait, I found another one of these little weird pocket building cave things. And this is what I've been listening to, this dumb chitter chatter thing. I have been, oh wow, such sass. I have been listening to that thing squeak, but I don't think that was even it. There's more of them around. Oh god, the sound. It's terrible. Okay, what did we get here? We got, ooh, a little boomerang thing. I've actually seen that before. Uh, I don't think, I think my gun is definitely better. We got a decent amount of money there. And some more recall potions. Sweet. And there's actually, I'm glad I noticed this, there's a loom there. So we aren't going to need to make that now. Let's take the bookcase. I am going to take this chest. And is there anything else in here? I think that might be it. Uh, I think these chests are just, yeah, they're like little open chests. I think that's going to be about it for mining today. I didn't find enough cobwebs. I did find a couple cobwebs, just not enough. I think I have 12 of them on me. What is stopping me right here? Is this, oh, they're like little baby walls. I want to get down into this little cave thing to see if there's anything down here. I know there's a mob here, but I don't know if there's actually anything in the cave he's sitting in. Die, there you go. Oh, the, okay, good. This cave does- Oh, God. Oh, God. Hold on. Don't get too close. Oh, God, there's more cobweb. Okay. We're gonna kill these guys. We're gonna get the cobweb. We're gonna go back to our house. And actually, I'm gonna have to end this episode soon. Oh, God, they shoot things at you. No. 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 Okay, one more. There we go. Whew. Okay, we're, we're so good on life. I'm gonna take a potion just in case. Okay, let's light this bad boy up. I have to end this episode soon, though. Because I'm going to go see the new Star Wars movie. And I'm super excited. I have been spoiled on one thing. But I've been told that there's more than just one thing to be spoiled on really. Like one more than one big thing that you can be spoiled on. So I've been spoiled on one thing. But I haven't been spoiled on anything else yet. So <laughs> kind of sucks that I did get a spoiler. But you know what? I'm going to go see it anyway. It's still going to be worth going and seeing. I'm actually, I might get some hate for this. But I, ooh, there's more cobweb up here. I've never, like, I've watched episode four and five, I believe. And I just, uh, I mean, like, I think it's a little overhyped. I think they're good movies, but... I think they're a little overhyped. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and grab this gold, though. Still excited to see the new one, nonetheless. I'm just going to grab the gold. I think this is lead around here, which I could use. Yeah, okay. I'm going to pick up this lead real quick, and then I'm going to get back to the house. Not all of the ore has been cleared out of here, but you know what? There's a weird worm thing that's around here that keeps trying to kill me, so I'm just going to leave. And let's go ahead and replace this wall again. Next episode, definitely going to be making a bed, especially now that we have cobweb. I hope that we have enough to make a bed so that way I can stop breaking this door every time I come home. And or else I might just have to like extend this one out or just move the whole house over by one. I could do that, but you know, whatever. Let's go ahead. We're going to go down. Ooh, ooh, we got a traveling merchant. Okay, we will look at what he has, but we are going to make our our yo-yo here. Can I not make my yo-yo? Oh, you know what? I'm going to need I need more wood. I'm completely out of wood. I when I was searching over to the right, cuz I went over to the right for quite a while, I ended up drowning. <laughs> uh, but I was exploring over to the right and I went through the corruption and I was covering up the little craters in the corruption with my wood because I had no other blocks on me and so now I'm out of wood but yeah I ended up dying in some weird deep pond thing because it was night when I was in there and zombies kept on dropping down and then I couldn't put any rope down to get out because there was like zombies and I didn't have any more glow torches it was very stressful it was a stressful experience let's get over here Here's our traveling merchant just trotting through our house. It's fine. Come on in. And let's see. Can I make the yo-yo now? Yes, there it is. Boom. Yo-yo. Made. Get out of here, sword. So that's just going to be replacing our sword. I'm definitely still going to be using the gun a lot. Honestly, at this point, now that we have the gun, it's kind of pointless to have the yo-yo. But you know what? It's still a good melee weapon. I don't know anything about this stuff. Pad Thai, I mean, come on, Pad Thai's delicious. We could get a katana. We don't have enough money for that. We probably don't have enough money for most of this stuff. 
Can I get the pad thai? I can get the pad thai. We're gonna get that. What does that even do? Minor improvements to all stats for 10 minutes. This is actually way better. <laughs> I uh, read this earlier. Minor improvements to all stats for 30 minutes. And I didn't pay anything for that. So pad thai, you're kind of disappointing. But nonetheless, pad thai is delicious. So are Christmas cookies or sugar cookies. Christmas sugar cookies, whatever. But that is gonna be it. Again, sorry if this was shorter. I really don't know if it was shorter, but I gotta go see Star Wars. So I'm gonna go. Thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play a Terraria. Please like and subscribe and all that stuff. And thank you. Goodbye.